Hi guys, in the last episode we created this fade between scenes effect. If you want to watch that episode, link is in description. It's only 4 minutes long. In this episode, I will show you how to create a loading screen. I like to use simple loading screens, so here I have just image with some text and now let's add loading bar. For that we can use slider. So create slider, then with code we will change slider value as our level is being loaded. Now let's change some settings. Disable handle slide area and I want uh, to change color to red. Because we disabled handle we need to stretch fill area. Hold shift and alt and stretch it. I think that looks good. Next let's create new game object, change name and now we can add a loading screen control script. First we need Unity UI because of slider and we need Unity scene management to switch scenes. Here we have public loading screen object and slider. If we go back to Unity, we can set up reference. Loading screen object will be loading screen including image, text and slider. Also, we need slider separately. Next, we have async operation and that part is usually most confusing. So, to load level in the background, we use scene manager load scene async, which returns an instance of async operation that we will use. For example, we use async operation progress to move our slider based on loading process. When level is fully loaded, progress is 0.9. Also, we have async operation scene activation. If it's set to false, we will not switch to the new level even if level is fully loaded. That gives us more control when to switch level. And finally, we have async operation is done. When is done is true, then we will switch level. And is done is true when progress is 0 0.9, that means level is fully loaded, and scene activation is true. Let's take a look at our code. Here is IE numerator loading screen function. First, we activate our loading screen object that contains image, text, and slider. Next, we start to load level in the background and we use async instance to set scene activation to false. Now while async is done equals to false, we set slider value to progress value. When level is fully loaded, progress is 0.9. So if it is 0.9, set slider value to 1 and set scene activation to true. That will set async is done to true and we exit while loop and switch to the new level. Function load screen example will be used by button so make sure that it is public. Remember we need to call IE numerator function with start coroutine. Let's go back to Unity, deactivate a loading screen, select button, go to on click. Here I want to use a loading screen object and add function load screen example. Let's click play. Now when I click on this button, loading screen will appear and new level will be loaded. Maybe you will not see slider because level that I'm trying to load is very small and it will load almost immediately. 
but trust me, this will work for bigger levels. Let's go to our script. If I add a local variables int level here and here, now I can choose level that I want to load. Go to button, select function, and here we choose build index of the level that we want to load. This is all for today guys, if you didn't understand something, uh, please check link in the description, there is really really great article about this by Alan Zucconi. Thank you for watching and see you soon.